Hello and welcome back to my F1 2021 Williams RTG career mode Here today for round 3 of season 3 for the Monaco Grand Prix Here's the grid for the race and then we'll get going Sergio Perez will lead us away from pole position Edging out Max Verstappen who'll start from P2 Considering the rest of the grid we have Hamilton, Leclerc, Valtteri Bottas and Sainz Russell, Ocon, Sonoda, and Daniel Ricciardo, Norris, Gasly, and Guan Yu Zhou, and Giovinazzi, Mick Schumacher, Vettel, Lance Stroll, and Christian Lungard, Mazepin, and Brown. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. So as you can see, qualifying wasn't good. We started last, so tricky track to overtake in obviously Monaco so we're gonna have to go for it at the start easy one stop and on come the lights as they go out and run away in Monaco the two Red Bulls get away well the Mercedes from Hamilton he's trying to get through there down the inside okay places all ready and we're free wide with Mick Schumacher and Antonio Giovinazzi bit of contact been squeezing, make sure Mac and giving up in the middle though. And we have gained some places, we're gonna send it down the inside. Into Mirabeau, job done there, and now once again into the Monaco hairpin. And I make that that we've just gained about half a lap, nine positions. Up into P11, started last. You can overtake a Monaco. It's a great, great start for this is him himself, ahead of both McLarens. He made a small mistake, and now here comes R Ricardo on our house. Oh, Ricardo, he's hit the wall. Ricardo is out. The Grand Prix, a former Monaco race winner, he was driving for Red Bull. Here's a replay of what happened then. So, he made a mistake. He saw his challenge, which is fair enough. But I'm pretty sure I left him space. He's on the outside, he's ahead. Oh, a bit dodgy that, a bit very, very dodgy that. The gap was always closing though. I think he should have backed out, but then I could have given him more space. But at that point, he's too committed, and he actually... He hits our rear tyre, that's what spins him. Into the wall. Orlando Norris also getting contact as well, I think he just clipped his teammate there so he has damage as well and here he is, so it's an absolute nightmare for McLaren that we've kind of engineered for them in a way as we make a ma massive mistake there and Pierre Gasly finds his way through on us that's not how the script's meant to go but we have to find a way back past him if we can keep up with him. <laughs> Soft started to go off, but we're now getting into the stage where those starting to get into some pit stops as we just ahead of our Valtteri Bottas has been just lost out to the Ferrari. And now at the end of that lap into the pits we come. You can see the Aston Martin safety car there. I think would have probably been used for that Ricardo incident if it hadn't have been a game. Out onto the track we come and where are we gonna come out? We're looking for we've come out behind Guan Yu Joy and ahead of Antonio and Giovinazzi. So we'll see what we can do. But those who are battling in front of us have actually because we have lost some places getting held up here by Nikita Mazepin doing the alternate strategy from medium to soft and we've taken this with full advantage down the inside there's contact there because we've gone down the inside of Ocon of Gwanyu Joe and he's just stopped on the on the apex of the lines of hairpin now we're, we find ourselves on the back of Lando Norris down the inside, job done there. Next to Pajuki Sonoda. And then the key to Mazepin. And then 
I can't keep the mouse pin itself down inside into the loads of pin. We go on Yuki Sonoda, and now we're on the back of S1 and we're gonna try and go round the outside. We do go round the outside, but we have to back out. Otherwise, there would have been contact. And we're side by side with him now. Then into Sander Vart getting round the outside. Jeff didn't give us that message at the start of the Grand Prix. And now on Nikita Mazepin. We are going to send it down the inside. And get past the Russian. And hopefully now we can pull away before he makes his stop in his hearts. Which unfortunately was that lap we overtook him. Currently P9 and after the okay, disappointment we have a engine uh, issue. Find a safe space to retire or return to the pits. It's happened again. It's happened again. Oh, we're in the points as well. God's sake. This Mercedes engine is shocking. Are you okay? That was a nasty hit. This is not the Grand Prix. <sighs> I don't know. Route to the podium as we speak. What a fantastic win for the Red Bull team. They performed exceptionally today, keeping us firmly on the edge of our seats throughout the entirety of the race. Congratulations to everyone at the team. Red Bull continuing their strong little forms as they wiped each other out in Imola. But we're back. are we not meant to score points this season? We're in the points in Imola, the engine went. We're in the points here and the engine's gone again. Oh, it's so frustrating. What are we meant to do? We're on for a very solid two points there as well. George is absolutely carrying carrying Williams in the constructors and so we just need to focus on the durability because that seems to have hit us hard that's now two retirements from three races but I hope you enjoyed this video I'm gonna go and find somewhere to cry and I'll see you in Canada